Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to Natural. Today's video is jam packed with 30, yes I said 30, pieces right here that I've pulled out that includes the hat, two bags, a scarf, and four pairs of shoes, friends. These are the staples that I go to every single fall and they go right into winter. So without further ado, let's get to today's video, friends. So this entire rack has pieces that you can play around with and they're interchangeable. So you don't have to always wear them the same way. Depending how cold it gets, you build upon the look. So let's get right to it. I love this. This is a snakeskin bag by designer Lulu Guinness. What I love about Lulu Guinness is she has this very quirky sense of style. If anyone's familiar with her designs, she uses the lip a lot and she's just spectacular and she was also a designer who had a collaboration with Target a few years back. It's just not your average satchel as it is very oversized and it's so good. I'm going to try this on here so you can see you can rock this bag this way. It is such a statement piece. You can also wear it over your shoulder. I love the unique piece. It still speaks to me. It's a gorgeous leather. I love the closure and the gold hardware. It is just amazing. Like I love this bag and it's just a stunner. This bag is a vintage bag that I purchased 17 years ago. This one cost me $180. It's all leather. It's so good. And if you look at what's in style these days, this kind of oversized handbag is coming back. This is the look that speaks to me. Do you guys see this? I just love to wear it like this. I love that I can easily access my keys here. If I need my phone, I can also access it. I love that. I love the leather. It's a gorgeous leather in cream, ivory, timeless, and I love these big, bold gold hoops. So at the end of the video, I will provide all links to the items that I find that are the exact pieces or similar items. I do know that some of the pieces are actually available in different colors, so I will be sharing those at the end. So make sure you check the description box below. I love this scarf. I purchased this at Anthropology, And what I love about Anthropology is the buyers literally travel the world and they scour the markets for artisans that really have elevated craftsmanship and they provide an opportunity for them to either do an exclusive line for anthropology or to sell their goods through anthropology. The pieces are not your average piece. If you haven't checked that anthropology, please make sure you do. They just have the most quaint pieces from artists all around the world. So friends, here's a scarf. I just think it's so dreamy. I would wear it this way, the way I'm wearing it now, or I would just wear it this way. I just think it's exquisite. So friends, as you can see, there are a lot of pieces and it is a bit hot here in New York City, so I don't want to throw on the wool and heavy items. If you're interested in having me try these on, sound off in the comments below so that I know that I should actually do a video trying on the looks. What I want to do here is showcase the items that you can also hunt for and secure to build your capsule collections that are go-to and that you'll get a lot of mileage and cost per wear. Do you guys see this? This is a coach vest. I purchased this in 2016. So many people sleep on coach and I'm not talking about coach from the handbag selection because I know that about a year ago they did revamp some of their styles and they actually had Jennifer Lopez on the campaign and some influencers and that was a success and those act those bags were actually really really good. I'm talking about coach from an all-American runway designer. The look that people sleep on. This is a piece I'm never going to get rid of. It's always going to stay with me. I love this. Do you guys see this? 
I just love this. Pieces like this do cost a pretty penny. So at the beginning of the season, pieces like this will range from $2,400 to $3,000. The secret is to wait after the holiday and even wait if you can, if they still have sizes at the local stores till mid January. Because in mid January, they actually start slashing the cost even more. A perfect example, this was about $2,500 and I waited until it was close to 50% off. And that's when I make these large purchases. I love this guys. I know I said I wasn't gonna try things on, but this just required a moment. It is dreamy. And what I love is that it has the mix of shirling, it just has the goat hair. It's so good. We can, and it has a different color palettes. And I love that this buttons here, so I don't even need to worry about having a muffler or a scarf on. This dreamy Argyle sweater, you can even wear this like that. This, my friends, is a key signature piece. It's an argyle sweater. Argyle is timeless, it will not go out of style. If you're going to do argyle, get a little creative and do something that allows you to inject playfulness and something more special. These balloon sleeves and the fitted wrist. Love this. You can either wear it straight down or you can fold this part up if you have shorter arms, but the balloon sleeve is what's going to give you that stunning feel. There's so many ways to wear this. You can wear this as is with some sweats, with some knitted pants, with some jeans. You can tuck in the front and allow the oversized feel to kind of come around like this. I would even consider wearing this with some wool tights. It allows me to wear this as a dress. So they would be very opaque. I would throw on these boots that are by Sophia Webster. It's such a nice juxtaposition of the leopard print with the argyle. When it comes to thigh high boots, I really think that Sophia Webster nailed it because this is a timeless piece. It's leopard, the heel has like a combat boot, Feel, but it also has the chicness of being a little bit more pointy, not too rounded to be casual, but not too pointy where it's too dressy. So I think these boots are winners. They're a star piece. When I buy sweaters, I tend to buy two sizes. Anyone that's interested, I happen to have another one of these. I will put the information in the description below and if you're interested you can dm me at natural but i did buy two this one is a size medium i think i'm going to keep the size small and i think i'm going to get rid of this size medium because it's a little bit more oversized than i need it to be the small is almost exactly the same i think the difference is an inch here and an inch in the bottom do you guys see this <laughs> i love this and yes she still has tags it's something that I do. I'll share a little bit of backstory with this Sax Potts coat. I think it was about 2018, Sax Potts really nailed it for me when they took a classic vintage trench, which is a leather coat that hits really midi length and has the fur wrist and the fur collar. That is a staple vintage piece, guys. And what they did was just genius because they recreated that timeless piece style that could be retro, but they gave it a twist of glamour and chicness. They used the most butter soft leather and quality fox, and they offered this gem of a coat in every color, friends. I'm talking about any color imaginable it was produced. They even went as far as changing the fox to shearling, and they also created some versions that were patent leather. I personally like the leather because I've had some experiences with patent leather. They're beautiful. I happen to love some patent leather pieces, but if you don't know how to store them and they get caught on something, you can actually damage the patent leather. And I didn't want to babysit my coat. I just wanted it to age well 
and I haven't worn it, but I had to have this color. What I love about this is you don't have to be dressy. You can have some workout clothes underneath this, some nice kicks, you can dress this up, but it's such a piece that elevates whatever basic look you have, and I love this color. I mean, guys, look at this. And it closes and cinches at the waist, so it has a very tapered feel. And the buttons, my friends, are also covered in the leather. Now, the way that I would suggest buying this is at retail, it starts to go, I think it's $1,800 till about $2,400. I've seen it up to that price at different sites. My suggestion, again, is to wait for end of season. The black and white one, I was able to get at My Teresa for about $895, guys. And this one I ended up paying $1,300 for because it was more of a quaint color and it came from the EU. So what I normally do is I'll start to scour all of the sites that offer luxury items. Those are MyTeresa, MattressFashion.com, Louisa Villaroma, Cold Torty, uh, Farfetch, there's a bunch of them, but that's really what I do. I create a wish list at those sites, and as things start to go on sale, I get notifications and I start to see how many pieces are available. My top two would probably be Net a Porte and Moda Operandi. Love, I've gotten some amazing pieces from both of them. And if you're patient and you want to take a little bit more of a chance and wait things out, you can score some items up to 80% off, friends. So yes, dreamy, love this. Oh, I just love this, this is another Zara piece. I've had this one for about five years. Every season they seem to come out with this. The length hits at the most spectacular place. I love the buttons, I love the color, and it is quite warm, so I would suggest wearing it open and having either a long sleeve or a tank top underneath a top so that as you get warm, you can remove some of the layers. It normally retails for about $89, and at the end of season, you can get this for $19.99. So friends, I love this piece. This is such a dreamy piece. For me, it is a classic. It's a vest that has a turtleneck. This goes over anything, and it's easy to layer, and it definitely uplifts any look. I love this. I want to show you a piece that I would probably wear with this. I know I said 30 pieces. Well, this is 31. This is a Margiela necklace from the H&M collaboration. Do you guys see that? That's what I love. I, I like to add something that is unexpected that will definitely add something unique to it and it looks like a designer piece. The minute that you add something that is rhinestones, even the leather, something different and unique, you elevate a basic look into another stratosphere. So I wanted to share this. This is a goodie that I got from the Margiela collaboration with H&M. Never wore it, but I am gonna wear it this season because it's just stunning. Another thing, I have to go into this. The thing that I find most fascinating is that when I've invested in these pieces, I store them and I don't wear them right away. And if you notice, most people will start to wear the things immediately. Over time, they quickly get tired of it or move on to the next and they dispose of the item or resell it. And when you have things for the long haul and they're great pieces like this, you can reintroduce them and now they become different. They are no longer easily identifiable as a collaboration piece from the current season. So that's another way to look at it where if you buy things, you don't necessarily have to wear them that season, especially when it's accessories. Look at them as long term. And when everyone's way off that train, you can still have mileage and the cost per wear for your pieces. Love this, guys. This Margiela piece was $59.95 at the Margiela collaboration launch at H&M. Such a goodie, haven't worn it, but I will wear it this season. So friends, it's a wrap. We've come to the conclusion of this video. I really look forward to us continuing this conversation in the comments below. I love it when you guys comment. So please sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, your feedback, as I love engaging. 
Also, if you love fashion and lifestyle and all things style through the lens of joy and delight, and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know every time I release a video. Until next time, my friends. Toodles.